Toilet and facial tissue is something that most of us take for granted, but many may be surprised to learn they are actually relatively new inventions. However, while tissue paper itself dates back less than a century, there is a much longer record of humans relying on paper for personal cleansing. It perhaps comes as little surprise that the Chinese, credited with first developing the pulp papermaking process more than 2,000 years ago, are also believed to be the first to use paper for personal cleansing. The first recorded use of toilet paper dates back to 6th century China. During the Tang Dynasty, 300 years later, an Arab traveler in the region commented that the Chinese do not wash themselves with water when they have done their necessities, but they only wipe themselves with paper. Still, it would take several centuries before the world saw anything resembling toilet paper as we know it today. For many years, people turned to other paper instead. Following the rise of printing, for example, many people relied on repurposed newspapers and books. The introduction of toilet paper as a commercial product did not occur until 1857. In that year, American inventor Joseph Gaiety began selling packets of paper in individual sheets, marketed as Gaiety's medical paper. Others began to eventually produce this variety of brown, rough, and thin paper in countries around the world. In fact, many readers may have personal memories of this toilet paper, which could still be found in certain parts of Europe as late as the 1970s. The first tissue products as we'd recognize them today were invented and produced by the American paper manufacturer Kimberly Clark, who developed cellulose as a replacement for cotton in sanitary products during World War I. Their major innovation was the creping process, in which paper was microfolded in the course of production. This breaks down the rigidity of the paper and increases the volume, making it both softer and more absorbent than paper created by Joseph Gaiety 60 years earlier.